Well, the difference between guiding versus climbing on my own, you're entrusted to take care of other people, to make decisions, to keep them safe, to look after them, in a lot of cases, you know, to melt the snow, to make water, to make sure they're fed, and, and there's a lot of instruction that goes along. So the, the energy output is, is larger when you're guiding, and obviously the emotional and the psychological output is bigger too because you're not only take care of yourself and your, your climbing partners, but you have to be very aware of the safety of the clients as well. So there's added work and added energy when you're guiding. When we're guiding, we have to tell the people, you know, this is going to be a long trip. And don't look too far ahead. Don't worry about tomorrow or the summit day. Let's, let's do what we need to do today. Let's take care of ourselves throughout the day so that at the end of the day, you're strong and healthy and you haven't done anything to compromise your health. And we'll make it through every day. And then the next day, we'll make it through that day. Uh, so you break it down into steps, just like climbing a mountain. And, and, and the key though is for, to help them understand that they need to stay fed, they need to stay warm, they need to stay hydrated all day long uh, to have the strength and endurance to go for, for two weeks you know, in the middle of nowhere.